Hello world, I'm Baby Zelda and um, this vid is where I answer some of your questions. <laughs> Are you actually a magical princess from a magical fantasy world pretending to be a normal human? <laughs> yes, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Uh, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? You can't say the part to have all superpowers. <laughs> um, hmm, I think that it would be the power to. Mm, ooh, I like this. Um, put my hands on someone and make them a super genius. Because I feel like if I if I was able to touch everyone and make them super genius, then we could all work together and I, um, um, achieve world peace and uh, stop all the wars and just uh, fun science and have like some Star Trekian utopia. <laughs> <clears throat> what is your favorite non-anime show? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, hmm. Hmm, non-anime show. Rick and Morty. I love Rick and Morty. Everyone should watch it. And I'm really excited because another season's coming out. How long do you think you'll continue camming? I couldn't see myself camming for mm, more than 10 years from now because I just think I would probably be too old. <laughs> and Maybe I'll just want to do game dev stuff alone by that point, but I like doing both for now. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. More questions. I don't know how I was such a dork and forgot to answer these ones. These ones are good. What's your favorite music? My favorite music is video game music. Um, I love music from uh, pretty much all my favorite games I love the music from. But I really love Metroid music, Braid, Earthbound, Minecraft. Um, oh man, like, yeah, video game music is just really, really good. Um, as far as like traditional normal music goes, I like. I know I used to really like metal a lot before I decided video game music was my favorite. So I really liked Ozzy Osbourne and Mastodon and System of a Down. And yeah, I like I like a lot of different kinds of music really. What are your favorite movies? Hmm, that's easy. <laughs> the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. I guess. Token token fan for life. <laughs> yeah, other than uh, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, I like Harry Potter, Nightmare Before Christmas, Labyrinth, The Dark Crystal, The Last Unicorn, The Princess and the Goblin, and uh, pretty much I love all high fantasy and fantasy type stuff. Like, a lot. <laughs> Can you give info about the indie video game you're working on? Um. It's been a long-running project of mine. Uh, I've been working on my dream indie game, and the major inspirations for it are uh, Dark Souls, Diablo 2, um, Baldur's Gate, that kind of thing. And it's going to be like a fully uh, realized world where um, there's going to be crafting and um, obviously fighting monsters and fantasy elements, and it's isometric uh, pixel art and it looks really cool and yeah I hope to release it sometime uh, within the next two years it's been a really long-term project like I've been working on it for like the past four years maybe I don't know uh, it's like been on off but yeah it's really exciting <laughs> you guys will know you guys will know when um, it's close to being done um, and yeah, and my game philosophy is that games should be 
challenging and I think the most rewarding games are the ones that you have to work really hard to do and I like I like when the challenge isn't like just completely unfair. I like it when it's something that's like you can overcome it and that there's like a ramp and the challenge ramps up. And I really like challenge like super challenging games uh, that really really make you work hard like Diablo 2 and Dark Souls. Um, Diablo 2 on uh, hardcore mode and Dark Souls and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> What are your guilty pleasures? Hmm, that's a hard one. Guilty pleasures. Oh man, I'm just, I have this sweet treat from hell. So I would say all of the candy I eat on a daily basis because I just can't get enough candy. And I guess like some of the worst candy that I really love are, um, well, like chocolate cake cupcakes with like the really sweet buttercream frosting that a lot of people don't like. I really love. Um, just uh, sweet coffee drinks uh, with lots of flavorings in them. Um, and Cad Cadbury um, eggs, the ones with the like white cream and then like yellow yolk type thing in them are really good. And Peeps and I would totally say candy and uh, the fact that I am Totally a fat kid at heart, and I love food so much, um, too much. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, do I have any guilty pleasures other than that? Mm. Just, I guess, being overindulgent with just, um, time wasting on the internet, or, yeah, I don't know. Bonus question. Who was Miss K? <laughs> I'm just gonna um, obscure her name. Or I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna obscure her name so that you guys don't know her exact name. But Crow, you'll know who I'm talking about. Uh, Miss K was my elementary school teacher for fifth and sixth grade, and uh, I was the shyest kid ever. I had um, really really intense shyness and like awkwardness and like. I wasn't diagnosed autistic, but really autistic tendencies um, and stuff like that. So I didn't like talking to anyone, and I was uh, I was prone to talking to adults rather than kids my age. So Miss K was my fifth grade teacher, and I loved her so much, and she was awesome. And I would talk to her. I would even hang out with her uh, at lunch instead of going out and doing normal kids stuff because I was that kind of an awkward teacher's pet. Person and I just uh, I really was a teacher's pet. Um, it's really stereotypical, but I would always try to like be buddies with my teachers and um, friends with them. And a lot of, as a kid, I didn't really relate to other kids my age as much. So I would oftentimes like really I would want the like friendship of adults and respect of adults. Like that was really important to me as a kid that I could get along with them like on their level. <laughs> I was a weirdo, um, but. So yeah, Miss K, um, I really loved her. She was my favorite elementary school teacher, probably favorite teacher of all time. Yeah, she was. Um, uh, I loved her so much, and I was so awkward that they let me be in her class for not just fifth grade, but also sixth grade. And um, actually, me and my friends, I didn't have that many friends, but like the, me and my friend, I think it was, best friend at the time, uh, we came back to visit her after we graduated um, from elementary school. So. When I was in junior high, we actually came back to visit Miss K because I had no life. I still have no life, but <laughs> so there you go. Just wanted to make sure I got in those extra questions. Oh yes, there was one more. Um, what's your favorite Studio Ghibli film? Um, this is a complicated one because I love Studio Ghibli so much. I I saw The Wind Rises in theaters, which is um, the last film they made, and I cried a lot. I'm like almost tearing up right now. Um, it was like. Yeah, it was really sentimental about like, um, it was really personal I think to Studio Ghibli and it talked a lot about like anim animators and how uh, animators lifetime, uh, animators lifetimes for animation are limited and you know Studio Ghibli had that old fashioned animation style which is really awesome and uh, well I grew up, I think Studio Ghibli was like, uh, their stuff was um, some of my first anime, like it was Dragon Ball Z and then Studio Ghibli, and um, I'd go to Blockbuster, and I rented uh, Kiki. Oh, I think it's Kiki's Delivery Service. Let me check. I don't want to be wrong on the internet. Kiki's Delivery 
service. Yes. I guess I'll have to say probably that one. Um, because I, I rented that and I loved it so much. I rented it was like my number one rented blockbuster movie. I rented it so many times. I need to go back and watch it because I haven't watched it since I was like maybe a preteen. It's been a long time. Um, so there's that one. And I also obviously love uh, Spirited Away, which is so good. But uh, they're all so good. But yeah, I guess those are my top two. <laughs> right, thank you guys for watching this. Be feel free to ask me lots of questions. Um, just at random, and I'll write them all down um, for a future questions and answers video. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Ooh, have a wonderful day. <laughs> Thank. Thank you everyone for all your questions. Mm. Um, just keep asking me questions like randomly and I will make a video again sometime to answer some more. So just ask me random questions and uh, I'll save them in a text file. Mm.